So, hey everybody, um, this is a quick live video on the go and that's what we're really going to do going forward on this YouTube channel. There will be a lot of live streams um, in different time frames uh, on the go whenever uh, there's something coming up that I want to cover. Um, in front of me, and you saw it maybe in the thumbnail already, I just received the um, Vader's Old Maelstrom Blackout Edition with a new pixel um, um, setup. So, Plector Labs uh, 4.5 soundboard, and uh, it has some has some slight weathering. And uh, this is a trade with one of the members on the Vault lightsaber uh, forums. And uh, uh, I traded it for my Vader's Fold uh, Blade Master Shodo because I wanted to. Hey, how you doing, George? That's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> um, good to see you again. I'm back again. Um, yeah. So um, I, I traded the Blade Master Shoto. Now some people will say, "Wow, that's that's silly to do," um, but the, the the value was more or less the same. Um, I had a bit more into the Blade Master Shoto, but the reason why I traded it, hey Jimmy, uh, the reason why I traded it um, was the fact that I wanted to have a bit longer and beefier hilt. And the Blade Master Shoto is a fantastic hilt. It's definitely a Shoto, but I felt it was a bit thin on the gripping section. And um, yeah, I just I felt like I needed something that was a bit beefier. And I did the review of uh, the Vader's Fold Maelstrom in the past. And I liked it so much that I actually was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind having another Maelstrom again. Uh, I don't have the one that I reviewed anymore. That was an elite version. Um, normally, I'm not uh, really big of uh, a fan of uh, high high polished gold accent uh, lightsabers. So when I um, so Michael had this one up for a trade, he initially approached me and said, "Hey, um, I'm really looking for that Blade Master Shodo. Do you want to trade it for one of my lightsabers?" Initially, I said, "Nah, I'm not really looking for a Maelstrom. I'm more looking for a Vader's Fold Hero." But uh, there was nobody around that actually wanted to trade a hero at that time or had one available for trade. So um, I went ahead and uh, we went for the uh, blacked out version. Sorry, I need to drink from Dorian Mon's head for a second. And uh, he shipped it last Friday, uh, Saturday. I just received it, so it took around a week to get here from the US. And uh, it was a very easy and uh, pleasant trade with Michael. Uh, I will not pronounce his last name because that's for privacy reasons, but he's in the, the vault, uh, the uh, a Facebook group for lightsabers by Vader's Fold. And um, I'm really happy with it because um, it's just a really nice lightsaber. I like the uh, gripping area that gives it extra beef to the lightsaber because the body is uh, more or less the same as all Vader's Fold combat classes. It's a bit on the thinner side, uh, but with that added knuckle grip, I don't know how to call it, knuckle duster grip. Uh, type of thing it really adds a lot more volume to the lightsaber and it gives this unique feel to it Which not a lot of lightsabers have the only lightsaber that comes to my mind that has this type of grip is the uh, Saberforce Bane, but the Saberforce Bane has a thinner grip. It's it's a thinner So it feels a bit harsher on the hand. This is uh, wider and it is chamfered uh, Whereas the Vader's uh, the Saberforce one was quite sharp on the edges. It just felt rough on the on the hands this one is very soft and gentle on the hand and it just feels really good when you grip that lightsaber um besides that this lightsaber is also 1.5 inches approximately longer than the blade master shodo because it's a blade it's a shodo lightsaber so it's it was a short saber as well and um i just prefer in this case i just prefer the slightly longer hilt normally i'm more into short hilts but I just felt, um, I felt like there was something missing on the Blade Master Shodo for me that I wanted as a daily uh, driver, my daily carry lightsaber from Vader's Fold. And financially, I wasn't capable of like keeping all these uh, lightsabers like the Blade Master Shodo, and um, yeah, just uh, buy more. So and this in, because I'm moving back to Holland, and financially, I already explained it. Blah 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 blah. So. Um, I was initially looking back for uh, a hero. I will get a hero once I move back to have my financials ready. I will order another uh, Gen 3 Vader's Fold hero uh, when that comes out uh, because I really want to have to have one back 
Uh, I really miss the one that I sold off uh, to fund other lightsabers back in the day. I, I believe I sold the Hero for the purchase of the Darth Alice lightsaber, the Simcoda. Um, but this is a really beautiful lightsaber. Let me turn her on for a second so you guys uh, hear some beautiful sounds coming out of this thing. This is the most loud faderful lightsaber I ever owned. Uh, of all the lightsabers, the red, the fury, the 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 pfft, I don't know. I I've owned around nine to ten different Vader fold lightsabers. The Maelstrom has the loudest uh, speaker pummel setup. Uh, the speaker is the same, but the pummel setup makes it sing super loud. You can't probably hear it on the speaker uh, from the phone, but this thing I tell you is it's really really loud. And that's just purely because of how um, the Maelstrom. the emitter, the pommel is designed. Now, let me take it off for a second, I'll show you. Um, this pommel design is, uh, is, is, is cone shaped and then the vents are like uh, having holes in the bottom. So there's like uh, just normal slits there. But because I think because they're uh, the holes are spiraled around. Sorry, I, my light is a bit shit. I noticed. Um, maybe if I do this, it's better. A bit. Uh, but um, because the holes are angled, I think that is the whole reason. Um, with together with the depth of the chamber of the sound chamber, um, making these this speaker setup so so loud. Oh, let me just take off some of the. Um, metal filings that's always a bit of a thing with faders full lightsaber so this one has been a shelf queen one second um where is it okay so uh, that is something i noticed with all faders full lightsabers every every one that i've owned including the second hand one is the metal filings on the speaker because the speaker uh, is magnetic uh gets magnetic charged over time and it leaves like these little residue of filings from the inner hilt onto the speaker. And if you don't clean that properly, in the past when I had my Vader's Fold Acolyte, I um, actually suspect that is the reason why that speaker blow. And also because that speaker was made of that softer good back in the days when Vader's Fold still used that around three years ago. Um, but um, yeah, so that's why I always do. I get a, a, a cleaning tip for an air tip and I just take off them filings. So just to make sure those uh, sharp filings don't wedge into the soft uh, membrane of the speaker itself. So, um, uh, the setup, uh, NeoPixel 4.5 by Plector Lab Soundboard. It has a white um, AV switch, which I think suits so perfectly with this blacked out uh, um, uh, Maelstrom. I, it's just a perfect choice. I'm so happy that Michael actually chose this setup because it looks really nice. It's a, it's a, a bit of a plain Jane, I have to admit that. But um, over time, the weathering gets worse because um, I will handle it a lot. And that's really cool because it's is black anodizing so yeah, it's hard to see on this camera but you can see the edges it will weather over time uh, natural weathering and that's gonna make this lightsaber extra cool and um, this is the Maelstrom um, sound font really responsive Super loud. Uh, really cool sound font as well. It has some uh, uh, elements of Kylo Ren's lightsaber, uh, the unstable lightsaber in there. So that's pretty dope. So what I don't have at the moment is an Allen Wrench key. So I have to go to the local um, store to pick a few Allen's key, Allen Wrench keys up, and then uh, I'll pop in the blade, and then uh, we make more videos uh, this coming few days. Um, because I'm 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 now currently jobless, waiting for my move back to Holland. So I got time on my hands. I actually can make a lot of content uh, uh, in this period. Um, but yeah, um, so this live stream is just to talk about everything uh, Star Wars, of course, and we do that whenever uh, the videos come up. Now I'm using the um, native uh, YouTube app on the phone currently because yesterday's live stream was. 
uh, abruptly ended because the phone was overheating and uh, we still have some minor issues with the app that I'm used to live stream to both uh, YouTube and Twitch so I'm working out those kinks so I'm now currently just using the YouTube app and um, it's a bit of a trail and error too I got all the good stuff and I'm still debating if I really want to go ahead with getting an uh, iPhone uh, XS plus whenever that come out this year um, for the live streams and the content or I get some since something separate like a small compact camera that is like high definition for these live streams um, I'm, I'm still debating um, so there's a lot of experimenting coming to this YouTube channel and uh, hopefully bear with me um, a few other things about this uh, lightsaber it has a custom uh, made or handmade uh, neopixel blade plug I don't know by who I have to ask Michael who made that. I will, will take it out later when I have the Alarens key and review that as well for you guys. But um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. I do have to get a cover tech wheel because I'm planning on carrying this outdoors and walk around with it. Um, but it's a really nice design. It does remember remind me a bit uh, in terms of the emitter as well of the uh, old the Saberforce Acolyte that I uh, have reviewed I think three four years ago. Um, just the, 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 the two sides here, the, 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 the curved, the, um, the slanted emitter with, with, uh, with the camel toe in the middle. Uh, of course this is different because it has two uh, horizontal bridges. I'm going back to, hey George, sorry, uh, I'm going back to Holland on the 29th of June. I'm actually gonna take this in the hand carry. And um, for this lightsaber, I actually have a few ideas. So I wanna take away the weathering uh, parts here, which is just black uh, aluminum weathering uh, material. Uh, I wanna uh, clean that out with uh, with some material, um, like uh, use these ear tips and then use some uh, cleaning material to clean out these uh, things. Uh, and then polish them up, make them clean. And then I want to probably inlay them with uh, gemstones like Vader's Fold does with very thin slices of cut gemstones because my wife is into collecting gemstone stuff like crystals and all that stuff um, because in, in, in Chinese they have like good luck stuff associated with it and I, I don't know uh, I, I, I really don't know but um, I want to pimp this up and the really nice thing about this particular uh, lightsaber from Vader's Fold Hey, I doing Delta Squad. These parts here are recessed, so even with normal paint, you can paint the insides, and it doesn't like flake off or something because it it's not being touched by anything because it's it's recessed quite deep. So I could use, for example, blue paint, red paint, and can just paint the insides and here and give this lightsaber a pretty unique accent. Uh, a different look to it pretty easy with accents uh, that are very easy to apply uh, because it's so recessed like you, you you can't really damage the paint the regular paint so it doesn't have to be powder coated so I could uh, sport like uh, a nice red accent here and maybe over time change that or something like that make the lightsaber a bit unique for that time um, I also curious to see what happened if I remove this knuckle piece uh, or the brass cover piece what, what what will be underneath there is that like still like a round uh, say a surface with two just two holes that can be plucked with uh, either a leather material over on top of it like then I can have different options to either display it with this piece or without the piece um, I, I have different choices then so that's pretty cool that's something I couldn't do with most of the Vader's full lightsabers because the exterior uh, is rather flat they don't have a lot of those deeper grooves like uh, this particular hilt hat where you have a lot of these cutouts um, that's really particular to this hilt design um, there's of course there's some that the most of the lightsabers from Vader's Fold uh, have these these kind of cut designs but they're not as deep so um, uh, that is just a bit of a benefit if you want to just paint up uh, or touch up like little accents in the lightsaber which I'm planning to do and then just keep uh, changing them around and in the meanwhile the black parts get weathered over time by handling it and then the uh, powder coating just wear out a bit on those edges and that's just like a really nice natural patina um, so yeah I'm, uh, I'm super stoked for it definitely have to get a cover tech wheel because I'm planning to wear this outdoors um, I have to say the emitter points here are a bit sharp they definitely 
I I know Deanna might watch this and Ellen they probably do because they sometimes give me some comments on the feedback that I give in my videos but um, these two edges are definitely sharp they're definitely a bit like some of the Saberforge, Saberforge hills I just have to admit that uh, I just be honest with that they, they could maybe be a bit better chamfered I had that with my Vader's Hold Red as well which had pretty sharp edges I can feel these are pretty darn sharp um, the inside not so much though I don't feel like I'm gonna cut my finger on it um, hey Mike Hey, this is where we, we spoke yesterday evening about it. I got it. I got it. So yesterday I was you. Uh, I was watching the movie Willow. Um, and I was speaking with Mike about uh, getting this lightsaber and some other stuff as well. So I just got it in. Uh, nice. I'm happy with it. It's loud. Maelstrom. Maelstrom. <laughs> so loud. Uh, but most of the time I'm gonna use this lightsaber without sound because I just I'm, I'm, I'm more of a guy without sound um, I would like to just send those points down, but just just me. Yeah, I will I will do a bit of sanding down myself because um, It's not that I can't do it myself. It's just it, When this thing is being shipped out to customers, I sometimes wish they um, they chain for they 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 just do a touch base like they just have somebody of the Q and A or the the quality assurance which they do they, of course they do but just feel like is this sharp is this good or not and then maybe they say oh maybe it's a bit sharp chamfer down a little bit before sending to the customer or maybe before the powder coating process happens um, it might be a time constraint thing or just an, a slight oversight it's not a massive thing but I just need to point it out because you know. A lot of people say that about Saberforge products, they have sharp edges, but uh, I noticed with a few of the Saber, uh, Vader's Fold uh, products, they have sharp edges as well. Um, also, what I do notice is, um, oh, that's interesting. Is it? Oh, wow. Okay. So, I just noticed that these two points are not uh, symmetrical. Uh, one is longer than the other one. So, let me see if I can show that. Uh, this point doesn't hit the ground. It's not symmetrical. See, if I is if it's symmetrical, it's crooked. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I uh, I never seen that before. Um, not a big deal, but uh, yeah, just that's that's just what I just noticed. Uh, the, the 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 two points are not uh, identical. Um, to me, not really a big deal. I don't see it's bent or something. Um. No, it's just it's just cut. It's just cut a little bit. Uh, see, it's just cut a little bit uh, shorter than the other points. So yeah, this the way how it was cut uh, in in the machine or something. Maybe it's hand cut or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's a bit shorter. No biggie for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, just need to point it out just to let you know. Yeah, I can clearly see it. It's hard to see it on this shitty camera, but um, uh, this one is a bit shorter. And that's not because the point has some uh, a, a cover, uh, of the uh, paint off, um, some some of the um, powder coating is off there, but it's actually a bit shorter. Um, yeah, it's hard to show, but uh, it's a bit shorter. Yeah, it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit the uh, two points at the same time. So if I, if I hit both points, you see it's a bit crooked. Um, it's okay. Uh, it, I mean, it's gonna be my carry piece uh, display. Not not really display piece, just a carry piece. It's, it will be used. So hey, um, it's a handcrafted product, uh, people. So uh, that is that is the thing, of course. Very beautiful piece. So I'm uh, gonna play a lot with that uh, this coming few weeks, and uh, yeah, hopefully the funding comes in very soon. Because I need to get a few stuff for making the videos. I want to get a good gimbal uh, to make nice footage. Uh, the laptop I need so I can make videos on the go, and. Um, an external microphone I want to have a Bluetooth microphone uh, I want to be able to do interviews etc and then I'm gonna take you around to all the uh, nearby toy stores in Hong Kong and collectible stores and we're gonna start with uh, with that as a series and then later on in the rest of Europe when there's like fairs or toy fairs or whatever and bring the camera along and make video footage uh, this milk tea is not bleh, it's too sweet um yeah pretty sweet saber i like it i like it good heft to it as well uh it's just a black mamba a big black uh, slong um 
it feels really nice in the hand though like it, it, it really does feel good my body is ready nice I think it, it's gonna be fun I think it's gonna be fun because um, I really want to give like uh, now showcase places that um, that maybe people never seen before like um, like go to the hot toys main headquarters in Hong Kong because hot toys is in uh, an Hong Kong company and just to showcase like the ins and outs what they have in the, in their in their shop and and uh, maybe I have an opportunity to speak one of the key people there um, yeah I mean um, I, I, regarding uh, lightsabers on games uh, I saw Vader's fault is bringing out that um, fallen Jedi lightsaber and um, the product looks actually pretty good it looks really good uh, nice solid lightsaber design uh, really nice hilt 150 US dollar uh, yeah pretty cool um, I'm actually uh, uh, yeah hoping uh, to be able to pick up a couple of lightsabers very soon again to do some more reviews uh, but um, really awesome really awesome stuff um, yeah quite surprising that uh, well not 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 that surprising because Thomas Snyder uh, is doing the designs at Trader at Saber Force which I uh, do regard pretty high as a uh, Saber designer I think he, his work is good and um, yeah I'm uh, looking forward to uh, to do reviews on those new lightsabers from Saber Force at one point um, but yeah a very very nice lightsaber and the, yeah there's not much else to tell about the Maelstrom I mean I need to pop in a blade and then I can demonstrate it much better but uh, yeah it does feel really nice in the hands like it, it does really feel like what I needed in in uh, the lightsaber like I just needed more beefy grippier uh, uh, yeah I, I don't know how to call it just a gri grippier lightsaber basic grippier and, and a little bit longer and one thing I do have to say as well the Vader's full blade master Shoto has a more shallow um, depth or for the blade, and that's because it's a thin neck design. Everything uh, for the blade is in the emitter section, and it just even with the uh, dueling emitter piece on there, it's a bit shallow. So it just makes the blade feel a bit more not shaky, but it just doesn't feel as solid and balanced when you hold the lightsaber especially because it's the shoulder hill so it's a bit smaller so the balance doesn't feel that fantastic uh, not brittle not brittle no definitely not brittle it's just um, the, the balance is a bit off with this lightsaber because you can grip I can choke it here in this choke point really high up still underneath the uh, beginning of the window and then hold it near the emitter like a Japanese sword uh, like grip it around here if I want to and that really gives yeah it gets a much comfortable feeling when handling the lightsaber um, so I definitely consider more this more of a dueling lightsaber exactly exactly the exhaust uh, of the of the lightsaber uh, blade um, I, I definitely feel this is more of a dueling lightsaber where the Blade Master Shoto is perfectly fine and great for heavy dueling by Vader's Hold, but I just feel that's more of a shelf queen. And I, um, I, for some reason, I gravitated more to either the Hero because I really miss that lightsaber. I'm really gonna get one back because um, I really regret selling the one that I had. But then again, that was with the old Crystal Shard 3.0 soundboard, and um, I just want to have. Uh, an updated version. I believe they made some changes to the uh, to the construction of the hilt. How it uh, uh, how you now can open it. I believe you don't have to do it from the pommel end anymore, but from the middle section or uh, the, the, I, I, I forgot. I forgot what it was. But the newer version of the hero was slightly better than the Gen One, um, and that is something that uh, is worth to upgrade uh, for me and, and the loss of that lightsaber temporarily out of my life because <laughs> I really like the Vader's Fold Hero uh, but yeah I wanted to have a more dual worthy uh, lightsaber back in my collection uh, that I can just open carry and uh, just use and abuse just use and abuse this 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 piece will not be I will not be scared to use and abuse it carry it around let other people play with it um, yeah this is an all-in-one high-end package and uh, it has a new pixel which is fantastic 
Um, I do have to say about one thing about NeoPixel is the future uh, lightsabers that I'm probably going to purchase uh, from Saber Forge or well, from Saber Forge is pretty clear, but uh, from Vader Fold, like the Hero, it will be RG, uh, will be tri Cree again. Uh, it's just the battery. It's just the battery lifespan for me. It's just I don't want to change the battery every 30, 40 minutes. Um, I want to be able to have a couple of hours of runtime out of my lightsabers. I uh, I came to the conclusion that I like that more. Um, it's a trade up. It's not as bright. It's not as lit as good as these awesome NeoPixel lightsabers. But um, it's just uh, you don't have to change the battery every couple of uh, uh, every hour hour or so. Um, a flashlight, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, that's true. Um, what what I, I, I personally, what I for fantasy wise, I prefer just my lightsabers to be stun sabers. It just gives myself the control over the immersion when I turn this on. Um, it's beautiful, but I can hear it's it's. A super loud speaker to me this is a super loud speaker this is not per se the lightsaber making the sound this is just a super loud speaker when I turn her on again but just mute it and have the light come out of the lightsaber and have the flash and class and RGB options uh, to me, that has more immersion of a lightsaber. To me, I can I can imagine those those sounds myself. Like I feel um, I feel more comfortable with it. I just yeah, I feel more comfortable without the sound. Which is I don't know, it's weird. I know, uh, but it's just a personal preference. Um, but it of course, whenever you are in the presence of people that don't have experience with custom lightsabers. Having sound is a must to give them the best experience of custom lightsabers. So from that point of view, that is something you definitely want. Uh, but for myself, I turn it on, I set it on mute. I actually will set it in the configuration. I will set one individual sound bank as the mute sound bank. So whenever I start up the lightsaber, it might have a soft boot up sound and then I ignite it and there's no sound coming from the lightsaber. Just uh, all muted. Um, it's just just too loud for me. It's too loud for me, and uh, I I I I don't think I really need the sounds myself. Um, and can save a lot of money as well on stun savers. Um, so I see my phone is start to uh, die out a bit again. I feel like there's a bit laggy when I look at myself now. It's yeah coming laggy. So I'm gonna end the live stream for now, and um, I'm gonna find an Elerance key or get one from the nearby shop. And then play with the blades, and then uh, we're gonna make some more videos. And uh, yeah, I hope my funding is ready very soon, so I can really start making a lot of content. Cause I'm I'm super stoked to get really onto the horse, uh, and 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 make a lot of videos that are much better quality than what you guys are looking at now. Much better. I don't wanna keep making these low end quality videos. Um, oh, that's pretty cool as well. The lightsaber doesn't need a, a saber stance because it stands on its own, like a, a like how you call it, a caterpillar. That's pretty cool, or a, a tank with a treadmill. Um, but yeah, a cool little lightsaber. Um, happy with the trade. I will uh, make a video about trading lightsabers in general as well, because. Um, it's always a risky business, right? You're gonna change a really expensive lightsaber for a lightsaber with somebody else, and um, you, you don't know if that person is gonna get through, if the trade is really gonna happen, or if the saber get lost in the mail, uh, and then you might be out of uh, next amount of uh, dollars, uh, depending the value of the lightsaber, and vice versa for that person as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of a scary thing to do. And I don't recommend it to do it with everybody, but we will we'll talk about that in a, in a, in a future video. Um, for now, I'm gonna end the live stream, and I'm gonna play some more with this lightsaber, and I uh, I will be back uh, soon. Uh, I need to attend my son as well because he was uh, throwing the packing peanuts everywhere in the house, and when my wife is back, she will kill me. So, uh, 12 a.m. It's uh, two yeah oh sorry it's 2 p.m. 2 p.m. here, dude. <laughs> sorry. 
Sorry about that. Have a good evening. No, take care. I don't want to pee. Don't worry, I'm going to be I mean, PM. Okay. Say, say goodbye. Goodbye.